Hi, it's Seth Riley here, and welcome to the White Hat Mastermind Show. Today, I'm actually going to walk you through the Chrome application, and I'll do a step-by-step -step presentation of the complete browser, all the settings, um, the different preferences that you can select within Chrome. And I just want to give you a good idea of how to use a Chrome browser and just give you a better idea how to use it with uh, your workflow as well. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, and I hope you learn a lot from this. Thank you so much for watching. Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Google Chrome. So in this tutorial, I'm basically just going to walk you through step by step on how to go through the different settings in, in your Chrome browser and also how to set your preferences. And then I'm going to show you a few little tips for organization and especially if you're running an online business, how to keep your different bookmarks organized. As you can see, I have a bunch of different bookmarks up here and so this is something I'll probably be talking about later down the line but uh, for right now what I want to do is just talk about the basics so the first thing you want to do um, when you open up your Chrome browser is actually sign in with your Gmail account now this is important because it actually allows you to sync your settings and preferences and your bookmarks across all the different devices that you use with your Chrome browser this is somewhat of a new feature and as you can see, it says Seth right here, and if I click on that, it'll give me uh, the option to switch to a different account and also go incognito. But as you can see, um, it has my Gmail email address here, and that's how Google Chrome keeps track of your preferences. So uh, the first thing we need to do is click on the Chrome tab up here, and then scroll down to Sign In. Now it's going to pull up the Google Chrome Settings page, and this is basically the page where you can configure everything you want um, all your different preferences on the startup and it's going to make your life a lot easier moving forward okay and I'm going to walk you step by step through all of these the first thing I want to do is just disconnect this account and then just go ahead and for you since you're probably not signed into Chrome you just want to click on sign in and then you simply enter in your email and your password and then click sign in Now you can see it's saying set up in progress. It's logging me in here. And so basically it just says your bookmarks, history, passwords, and other settings will be synced uh, to your Google account across all devices. And then you can click OK, got it. And it'll basically allow you to be logged in now. And you don't really ever need to log out. Sometimes there might be a Google Chrome bug or something uh, where you, something isn't working quite right. So what I recommend in that situation is to log out of uh, Google Chrome and then maybe restart your computer in that situation. But typically, you're not going to have too many problems with Chrome. Um, and that's why I really love this browser. It, it is probably my favorite browser. I also like Firefox as well, but uh, obviously this tutorial is about Google Chrome. So uh, that's the first thing you need to do is sign in so you're going to save all your preferences and settings across all devices. The next thing you want to do is when you're actually setting up the Google Chrome browser, you can choose what pages you want to show on startup, okay? So if you scroll down to this tab right here and select open a specific page or set of pages on startup, and then what you want to do is hit set pages. Now as you can see, I have whitehatmastermind.com here because this is my main website that I'm working on. So when I start up my Google Chrome browser, I want that page to pop up first. I also want google.com to pop up. That way I have a really easy and quick way uh, just to search stuff. You can do Facebook or whatever you want. So if I wanted to add my Facebook page, I would just go to Facebook and grab that URL. Then come back over here and just paste it in. And you don't even really have to do anything. It just automatically adds it and then you want to hit OK. So if we restarted this browser, whitehatmastermind.com and the Google search page would pop up, which is the home page of Google, and then Facebook would pop up as well. So that's just a really quick and easy way to get your most important websites up quickly without having to really do too much on startup. The next thing I want to talk about is appearance. One great thing about Chrome is that you can actually kind of customize it to fit your personality, okay? For me, I like real sleek stuff, so you can see I have like a chrome background. It's really simplistic, but it's kind of stylish too. If you wanted to change your theme, all you'd have to do is click on Get Themes right here under Appearance. And it's obviously going to open up a new tab. And from here, we're basically in the Google Chrome Web Store, okay? 
And over in the left side, you'll see four different menus here. You'll have your apps, your games, your extensions, and your themes. The first thing we wanna work on is getting a theme that we like. And as you can see up here, there are some featured themes that Chrome thinks are really good or they just wanna feature them for whatever reason. Um, I recommend scrolling down and looking at a theme that has five stars and a lot of different reviews. Um, typically, that's gonna be a good way to find a good theme. Obviously, you can go with the basic default Chrome theme and that's perfectly fine, but if you wanna spice it up and add your own little personality to uh, your browser, then you can go ahead and add a custom theme here. Another thing is extensions. If you click on extensions, Chrome has a ton of different extensions that you can actually add to your web browser. Now, if you look up here, you can see I have about 10 extensions, okay? And I use all of these every day. Uh, they're very important extensions to me, and we'll be going through extensions later down in another tutorial. But for now, I just wanna help you understand the basics of Google Chrome, okay? But yeah, adding extensions to your Chrome browser is really just gonna save you a lot of time. And it's all about keeping things organized and making your life a little bit more convenient so you can get more work done online. Or if you're just you know, browsing and you're more into social media stuff, there's still a lot of great extensions you can, you can download from Google Chrome Store uh, to add to your browser right here, okay? And then um, you can also, you can filter um, your search results. Say you only want applications by Google. If you click that, it's basically going to filter the applications here. So, um, you know, if you don't want to go with a third party uh, developer, then you can always use the Google extensions, okay? So that's something to look forward to. And then, of course, you have your games and then you have your applications. I don't get into those too much, uh, maybe some applications, but you know, I try to stay away from the game since I work online. There's also another settings tab up here right from the web store. If you click on that, you can check out your different apps, you can select your language, uh, it tells you your location, uh, there's also a developer's dashboard, and then you can read about the privacy policies and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the web store now, and we'll go back to the preference page. So what I'm going to do is go up here to the toggle button and click it. I'm going to open up a new tab and basically, as you can see, Google search came up here and this is the home page Google. And this is really convenient for me and you can set your preference on what page you want to pop up every time you open up a new tab. And you're going to do that right over here under appearance and you're just going to hit new tab page change and click on the little change link there. You'll see this little pop up and you can select open this page every time you open up a new tab. And you can see right here, the URL is google.com for me. So that's the homepage of Google. Works out well. You can add Facebook or Twitter, whatever you want to pop up every time you open up a new tab. And then just go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, it added the uh, URL right there. Another thing you can do is choose what search engine you want to use within Chrome, okay? You can use Google by default or you can use Yahoo, Bing, Ask, all these different ones. I recommend keeping Google. Obviously, it is the best search engine around. Um, so you're gonna probably be a lot happier with your search results using the Google search engine. And down here, it's gonna tell you the different profiles that you have, the different Gmail accounts, I should say, um, that you, you have availability to access through the Google Chrome browser. And then down here at the bottom, there is advanced settings. If you scroll down and click that, um, there are some different privacy settings. I recommend keeping uh, most of the privacy settings and preferences as recommended by Google. If you scroll down even farther, you can see your default page zoom. Obviously, 100% is pretty good for this. You can also choose your font size um, across your the browser, across all websites, okay? And right now I have it set to medium. If I wanted it to go large, you can see it made it a lot bigger. So if your eyes aren't that great, you can always enhance that by selecting large. I'm gonna jump that back down to medium. You can also choose custom fonts. Now I wouldn't worry about too much of this other stuff, but one other thing that's important to note is that when you're actually downloading stuff off the internet from the Google Chrome browser, um, it's actually gonna add it to a folder on your computer. and you can actually set your preference on what folder you want it to be added to right here, okay? So every time you download an application or a PDF report or anything, um, there's gonna be a default area where all the stuff that you download off the internet is gonna be added, a default folder. You can just set your preference right here and then just create a specific folder for all your downloads from the internet. It's very important to keep everything organized, so I would definitely recommend doing that. 
Now at the very bottom under advanced settings, you can also reset all your settings if you wanna go back to the default standard. So there's one more thing I wanna show you. If you scroll over privacy and you click on content settings, it's gonna pull up your cookies. You wanna keep recommended for most of this stuff for images, recommended, JavaScript, recommended, handlers, plugins, pop-ups, location, notifications. You typically wanna keep all that stuff the same. But one thing uh, I had a hard time with when I first started using Google Chrome, and it has to do with live streaming when you get into video conferences and things like that. And the software that you're running on uh, requires you to select your preferences within Google Chrome. It's not like on the application end. So if you have like a upgraded microphone or web camera, then this is where you're gonna set your Google Chrome preferences when you go into a live streaming event or something like that. You wanna make sure that your video ca camera is a high quality one that you have plugged into your computer and, and also your mic. You wanna make sure that your preferences are set to use your quality microphone. So as you can see, it says microphone here, and you can simply select uh, which one you want to use as your preference. And then also your camera, you, you know, obviously I can choose to use my MacBook Pro built-in webcam, but it's not the greatest. And so I want to use my USB webcam, my high definition webcam. And this is going to make sure that when I get into these live streaming events, that I have really good picture and my sound quality is really good. So those are the settings I wanted to show you basically under the privacy stuff, and then you just wanna hit done, and your settings will be saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this tab right now, and as you can see, we're at the, uh, the home page of Google. Now, remember I said um, you can add all kinds of extensions to your Google Chrome browser. Now, in order to do that from this, this area, um, you just wanna go over this toggle switch right here, click that, and then there's a host of different options here, but if you scroll under uh, more tools, you can see that you can access your extensions right here. If you click on that, it's actually gonna pull up all the extensions that you currently have um, within your Chrome browser. And you can choose to enable these or disable them or even uh, throw them in the trash, okay? And that's completely up to you what extensions you choose to use. As I mentioned, I'll be going over some different extensions that I personally like to use in my business uh, later down the line in some different tutorials. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to give you an overview of the extensions page and how to access it. Now, if we open up this menu tab again, you can locate your printer here. So if you needed to print out a page, you could do that from here. You can also, also choose um, the default zoom um, of your browser. I'm going to keep it at 100%, obviously. You can change that if your eyes aren't the greatest or whatever. But I recommend keeping it at 100%. And if you have bad eyes, um, go into the settings page and uh, change the font size within your browser. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is bookmarks. I believe it's really important to keep your bookmarks categorized and organized. And the best way to do this is, is really very simple. As you can see up here, I have all different types of bookmarks for different things in my business. And it really allows me to organize everything properly. And not just organize it, but it helps me to remember the stuff that I really wanted to come back to later. And you know, I'm browsing the internet all the time. I find a lot of blogs that I want to get back to and I want to research a little bit more. Or maybe I find a sales funnel that I like that I think is really high quality. Well, I want to save it to my bookmarks, but I don't want everything to be unorganized. So as you can see, you can add a bunch of different bookmarks up here uh, for whatever it is you're doing in your business. And the way to do that is just to scroll over your bookmarks tab and then just double click and scroll down to add folder. And then you can basically just add a new folder. I'm just gonna call this test folder. And then I can simply add it to my bookmarks. Now, as you can see, Google Chrome will only allow you to have a certain amount of bookmarks up here. And what I like to do is drag and drop the most important bookmarks up here um, for my business, okay? But if you wanted to access the other bookmarks, you just uh, click on this little arrow or this little menu icon right here. And you'll see a drop down of all the other folders that I have. And you wanna make sure that even under this circumstance that you make folders for everything, okay? So let's say I wanted to drag and drop a folder up there in the browser. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take affiliate marketing and, and move it, okay? 
And now you can see that affiliate marketing is no longer there. Now, if I wanted to drag and drop forums up there, I can just simply drag and drop it and it appears right there. And then if I wanted to access the forums, I can click on it. Same thing with any of these other tabs. You know, For instance, I see a lot of different blogs that I like online. Well, I wanna save them for later, but I don't wanna necessarily scroll through a million bookmarks to find them. And that's why I have this blog folder up here. So I can just click on it. I have access to all the people that inspire me online and the different resources that I wanna come back to later. Um, so that basically just gives you a general idea of the bookmarks tab. Now, one thing to know is that you can actually make subfolders with, within these main folders. So for instance, if I click on WordPress, you can see that I have a WordPress themes folder here. It's empty, but I'm working on organizing that right now, actually. So, you know, you could actually make a ton of subfolders within your main folders here in the bookmark tab. And that's really, really going to help you to keep things super organized and just save you a ton of time in the future. So one more thing I wanted to mention, if you scroll over here to the apps and click on it, it's going to take you to a page where you can basically customize which apps you want here to show here, which will give you quick, easy access to the apps that you're currently using in your business or um, online. So there's one more thing I wanted to mention. If you scroll up to the view in your Mac, it'll, it'll give you the option to actually enter presentation mode. Now, if you click that, it's going to expand your browser to the full width of your screen. Um, there's also another view, enter full screen mode. That's another option as well. So there are some different options here uh, with the Chrome br browser to kind of to hide all your little settings within your Mac or PC and basically just show what website you're currently looking at without showing all the different options within Chrome and your Mac or PC. So I'm going to exit out of full screen mode. Okay, now as you can see, we're back into uh, the default view. And you know, if you're doing a presentation for a client or something, that's what you want to use that for. You want to click on view and you want to go to presentation mode and go into presentation mode. That way you can get away from all the clutter and you can just show them the website that you're currently looking at. Well, that wraps it up for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos on different Google Chrome extensions that are currently working for me in my business and saving me a ton of time. Have a great day and take care.